hello, hello. Ha! And we thought we hated Nunes. Oh, Matt Gates, Matt Gates. And the Jerk of the Year Award nominee for March 2009 is Matt Gates. Oh, his energies. His ener this guy, Matt Gates, his energy is a snarl. That's what it, it's just, it's horrible. For some reason, I'm getting two cards there. No, but Matt Gates uh, sent out a tweet saying that Cohen should, has, asking if Cohen has told his wife about Cohen's girlfriends and that maybe Cohen should have a discussion with her before he comes in front of the committee. It was, it's absolutely clear and present witness intimidation. Ugh. And seriously, his energy, just tapping into his, Matt Gates's energy, it's like, it's like crushing my head. As a matter of fact, it's making my scalp itch a little bit. I hate these guys who make my scalp itch. And I get this creepy crawly feeling on my skin. Matt Gates is a nasty piece of work. I mean, Jim Jordan is his own brand of A blank blank hole, but um, Matt Gates, he's worse. How's that even possible? What's going to happen to Matt Gates? Card for the reading. Well, this is a situation where someone walks away saying, Oh, my work here is done, when in reality, they've basically been shoved out the door. That's what that feels like. In the past, Matt Gates. Oh, I have a headache. I feel like my I feel like my skull's been crushed. In the past, I don't know enough about his personal life to know what that refers to exactly. But to be honest, it feels like he gave that as much as he got it. He gave as bad as he as he got. I've got two cards for the question. This was fate. This was part of the bigger drama where the bigger forces are at work, and this is what he threatened Cohen with, revealing infidelity that may or may not exist. Right. Base of the reading. Gates loves Trump and what he stands for. That, that mean kind of ultra-conservative money above all else, and if you, if you believe if you're too soft, then you're, you're a traitor, you betray, you're weak, you're bad, you're, yeah, one of those guys. Hanging over him. Ha! The rise of women. The rise of women's power. The rise of international power. And the rise of the power of immigrants. Or as he feels it, all those nasty people who are destroying this, uh, all of these horrible people destroying his Norman Rockwell view of America. There's some people who seem kind of wedded to that idea, of the Norman Rockwell ideals of whiteness and a particular way of living that com this does not have any multiculturalism in it, which is a shame because well, not only because it's just narrow-minded, bigoted, horrible. But because Norman Rockwell himself, he, he made some beautiful fo uh, paintings. One in particular, Hello Kitty. I think it was Valerie in the comments said when, when uh, Zen Kitty, boo boo, when he comes through that these are footnotes. So anyway. Hello, cutie. All right, so near future, Matt Gates, he who gives me a headache. Oh, are things not going to go well for you? It's this feels like a wake up call, like right up against the side of his head. Like, hello, you can't do that. You can't intimidate witnesses. You can't. Yeah, he's in for a world of hurt. He's in for a world of trouble. Oh, oh, my head feels like it's being crushed. I gotta get through this. Home environment. His home environment is emotionally poor. 
Everything about him is emotionally poor. The, the man has the empathy of a brick. Hopes and fears. Hoping to move Trump's agenda forward. He, he really is. He is a Trump super fan. Other people see. I don't know if I, I don't know if you know somebody who watches Fox News. I do. So I occasionally every, I occasionally hear kind of what's going on on Fox News. They talk about AOC like she is the only thing going on in the country. And like she is the devil herself. And it is that that focus on the 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 youth and the youth ideals that is just is just driving them crazy. They don't they don't realize that Trump's Trump's narrow-mindedness and extremism is a reaction to the incredible inequality and and the frustrations that people are feeling. And so when that's so that that has not worked out well, now they're looking to the other extreme. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. What do you think? What do you think, kitty? I don't know if I, I you know, I don't even know if I want you to be around the energy of Matt Gates. Hello, cutie. Oh, you are a balm for a troubled soul. Little cuteness. Little cute kitty. Little cute kitty. Oh, it makes me feel better. Maybe it's my head pounding. And he's gone. Okay. Things are about to happen quickly. Trump being knocked down to size. No longer emperor. I could be wrong, but this feels like under, like, this feels like he's done something illegal, unethical. It feels like he's that doesn't feel like it's a good card. That feels like he did something and he's going to be called out for it. Let me see what else we've got here. Yeah, I don't, I don't want this reading to go on much longer. Seriously, my head hurts. Matt Gates, Matt, oh, God. What is it with these guys? Why do they become so cruel? Why do they become such jerks? I don't understand it. I'm not even going to try to understand it. Seriously, I just, I don't get it. Oh, that's him. What did he, he did, he tweeted that, he did that witness intimidation to Cohen and then came back and said, oh, I'm so sorry. I sent out that tweet. I regret it. Oh, please. Nobody's buying that. That, that tweet was vicious. Seriously, if you've only heard about it secondhand, go, go, you know, look in Google News or something. You can search because it's, it's, it's mean. I mean, it is really mean. These are other senators. These are, these are other senators taking him to task for him being a jerk him being cruel and hard. This is his comeuppance. Okay, so... So maybe his co-workers, for lack of a better term, will take him to task. So what happens to Matt Gates? He's... I just, I just feel cruelty. That's all I feel. I just, that's, that's all I'm feeling in his energy is cruelty. He's going to have a lot of time to think about it. Okay. In what way? Mueller's report is going to seriously break up some of the smoke and mirrors that Trump's getting away with. And a lot more after that as well. And it's going to hurt Gates. It's going to hurt deeply.
because it's going to hurt Trump and he's the Trump super fan. He's going to get, he's going to get caught up in this. He's going to get, the word that's coming to mind is nailed. But in what way? Is it legal? Is it, I mean, did he do something so bad that he's going to end up in jail? Matt Gates going to end up in jail for something? Just three cards. One, two, three. That's where he is now, sitting pretty. And he thought he could get away with whatever he wanted to do. I'm not getting jail. I'm just, I'm just feeling it, him being caught up in all the Trump stuff. He's going to stay, he's going to keep a seat for quite a while, but he's, his power is going to be hamstrung. His power is going to be so lessened because the, the Democrats are just going to keep gaining more and more power. So that's, that's what I'm getting for him. I, the Democrats gaining power. And him, I, I believe he's from, I could be wrong, but I could have sworn, is he, isn't he from like a ruby red district? I don't know, but it feels like his power being lessened, but he's going to be out there being horrible for quite a while. Yuck. All right, I'm, I, seriously, my head hurts. I got to go. But thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your kind comments and your likes. Thank you so much to my patrons. I'm really grateful. All right, hang in there.